This is an advanced math SAT practice problem. Do you want to give it a shot? Go for it. The key to solving this problem is recognizing that this is a square binomial. But how can we see that? If we take b divided by 2 and square that result, that should be equal to a times d. And if that is true, then we have ourselves a square binomial. 20 divided by 2 squared gives us 10 squared, which is just 100, which is in fact the same as 4 times 25, also 100. Now the question is, how do we actually set it up such that it's in the form of a square binomial? And the answer is simple. We simply have to take the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term. The square root of 4a squared is just 2a. The square root of 25b squared is just 5b. How did we get this result up? The square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of a squared, well, those are just opposite operations, so that's just a. Similarly down here, square root of 25 is 5, square root of b squared is just b, so 5b and 2a. And then we'll write 2a plus 5b. Now this is the factored form of this polynomial, but it doesn't quite answer the question. The question asks, which of the following is a factor of the polynomial above? Factors of a number x are two numbers which multiply together to get x. In this case, we have 2a plus 5b squared, which is the same thing as 2a plus 5b times 2a plus 5b. Therefore, 2a plus 5b is a factor of this polynomial. So your answer to this question would be 2a plus 5b. I'm Christopher of Terranova Tutoring. Thank you for watching.